In the art of holding, I talked about many concepts that were situated for small business. Well, there's a small business, any business that has 500 employees or less. Most of the businesses in America are small business. About 10, maybe 12,000 multinational big corporations that have 500 or more employees. Often, the strategies that you hear online, we'll talk about the Dutch sandwich, is something that Google and Apple are doing that has drastically reduced their tax load to their way of paying hardly any corporate taxes. But you're going, Google's doing it, Apple's doing it, Amazon's doing it, why can't I do it? Well, remember my video where I was talking about environments? As a small business owner, you're not in that league. You don't even have the money to play those games. These corporations, the Dutch sandwich takes hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars to set up and then a lot of money for compliance. What you need to focus on versus saving money, which is a scarcity mindset, which is what many of these businesses are predicated on. You had this guy who put his PL up for running a business on Amazon for seven years and everyone is like, expense everything, make no money. I don't, think, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all because this is one of the problems when you run a margin thin business. One bad thing happens, you could have a serious setback in your business. Two bad things happen, you could be out of business. What I was taught was you need to have healthy profits. None of this bear down to the bone, no profits. Now, once again, in the art of holding, I talk about certain strategies that are predicated for small business. This is not for venture capital. This is not for multinationals. This isn't for hedge funds. You have many people who are trying to play those games when they are not even a five-star draft pick. You can't even conceive some of the stuff. I know of these games. I know people who play them, but I also know of one gentleman, he's got $8 billion at his disposal through his company. Eight billion dollars. When you start getting up into the billions, yeah, you can play those games. When you get up to 100 million, yeah, you can play those games. When you make one to 10 million, um, not so much, but there's a game you can play where you have to infuse your lifestyle with the business. Uh, I put a post on my Facebook uh, page, uh, Jen Casey, she posted it. And this is something that I talked about often, how people are saying they're making this money, but look at how they're living. Go to their Facebook page. You will see it. I mean, this one person who was like, I do this, I'm an expert, I'm super smart, I'm making all this money. And on his page, he had a GoFundMe for his dog. It was $2,000. I contributed. I like animals. But the point is, you have got to get away from trying to play big boy games when you're not even in the Pee Wee Leagues. You're not even on the team. I wanna stress this. As a small business owner, there are plenty of tax strategies. There's plenty of things you can do to offset your tax load, save money, put certain things in your company. There's so much you can do. So you don't have to play these cor C corporation games. Most of us, myself included, do not have a C Corp. Sometimes it makes sense to have a C Corp. Like my friend with, with the $8 billion at disposal, there's a C Corp. There's, a, there's actually quite a few corporations, and this is something else too. Once you start making money, you have enough money to actually start something else where you can get into the C Corp, the S Corp, uh, the parent corp, the holding company. And once again, one of the things I teach is for generational wealth and setting things up for your kids. Just to be clear about this, but I am sick and tired of everyone trying to play this low margin game when I know what's going to happen. When eBay sacked our account, you know why we made it? Because we had a high margin business. If we did not have a mar high margin business, or if we were just trying to buy, you know, a category or we would have been out of business. I was able to go out, put stuff on Craigslist. I was getting it for pennies on the dollars, sell it for dollars, sell it for hundreds of dollars. And I was able to climb out of that hole. You can't do that playing these stupid games. So what's the first thing you should do as a business owner? You should make money. Do not get caught up in these schemes. Do not get caught up in, because I am waiting for this recession to get into full throttle. Because you know who are gonna be the first people to go? Those people who are playing these low margin business games and they have no savings. 
they're going to be the first to go. It's going to be off with their heads. You're going to just see people disappear. You're going to see folks that you personally know on Facebook. And there's a lot of, you thought they were living the La, Volca, La, La Vida Loca. They were living that life. All of a sudden, they're going to stop posting on Facebook. They're going to go dark. They may go radio silent because their world's going to come tumbling down because everybody's predicated on this low margin business stuff because they don't want to pay taxes. Once again, there's a way around this. Now, what should you do if you are someone who has no skills? You, you, you're like, I need to make some money. First step, you know, we're talking to Broke Dick Danny, Penniless Priscilla. You should start an off the books business. Because if you make $500 off the books, that's like making $800 on the books. You make $2,000 off the books, that's like making $3,000 on the books. That's how you climb out of the hole. But once again, environments. Are you in a corporate environment with tax attorneys, CBAs, business lawyers? If you got that team, because I guarantee you, Google has a whole floor of these people internally. Amazon has a bunch of these people. Uh, Apple has a bunch of these people. All of the big corporations have a whole sector of folks that are focusing on compliance, how to create tax shelters, how to make, they have whole departments on this and it's just you, your VAs, and it's three or four of y'all and you think you're gonna play this game and play it to win? One of the things that many of these companies do is they spend money, millions and millions of dollars acquiring stuff so they can write that off of their taxes. So they acquire a business that's making money and they get a tax break. Did you hear what I just said? They spent money to make money. So once again, and I, I saw someone, and I'm not mentioning names because I'm not trying to start any turf wars, but two still got a mortgage and they're, they're all on this, you know, how many people make $200,000 a year, $300,000 a year, $400,000 a year, and they're broke. My question was, how many people do you know that make two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year? It ain't that many. It ain't like they hanging like apples on a tree. In this country, there are 5,000 families, and this includes these multinationals, the owners, uh, the Walmart people, who make over 100 million, who have a net worth of 100 million. And when you get to 50 million, probably 10,000 families. 10,000 out of 330 million people. 10. And when you get to 10 million, maybe a million, million five people in the country are over 10 million. So when you know the numbers and you know how this stuff goes, when someone comes at you with that yin yang, you know that they're just full of it because they haven't done the research, they don't know the numbers, and they're just talking out their butt. Everybody wants to start smart. Everybody wants to sound smart on the internet. But when I come at you on my Facebook page, I'm not coming at you with an opinion. I'm coming at you with facts. I'm coming at you with numbers. Because I know the numbers. This is how I know a lot of these people are lying. This is how I know. Because the reality is, and I told someone that, if you made a million dollars a year after taxes in your business, you have done something. I remember... The first Vid Summit, I was coming back, I was flying first class, and I was talking to this guy who worked for Eastman Kodak. He was a brother, and we had a nice conversation. And he was to start talking about money. He said, once you get to a million, he said, there ain't that many people in there. It just ain't. And this is the thing. You got all of these people who have never been in the room, but pretend like they know what it looks like. Like, oh, these are the paintings on the wall. Oh, this is how they say. You don't know. Because you ain't up in there. And you ain't up in there because you don't have the right mindset. So let's stop with this low margin stuff and invest in yourself. We're going to teach you how to create profitable businesses. It's like a hustle you turn into a business model. Because once again, you need that profit. Not to ball out, not to trick out, not to buy something crazy. But you need that profit. Like the, the year that I tried some fancy and new schemes and I ain't making any money for six months. If I wasn't profitable, I would have been out of business. I was able to weather six months of not making any money because we were profitable year after year after year. If you ain't profitable, I am telling you, and like I said, I can't wait. So we can stop with some of this petty nonsense because everybody's like, hey, that's how you build a business. 
You don't spend any money. You spend all your cash. You go broke. Uh, for two or three years, I can see that. Four years, I can see that. But if you are not pulling some of that cash flow out to protect you and your family, you are boo-boo the fool. I, I mean, I read it. It's like, I don't spend any money. I, I blow it all. I drive a Honda. My girlfriend. I'm like, Whew. one of the best things to ever happen to me was when I sold that furniture on the side and I saw profit margin. I saw gross profits. I saw money in the bank. Do not let anyone tell you that when you're broke, you don't have any money. The best thing to do is to build a business and hope to be acquired because this is the game a lot of people are playing. They're hoping that someone's like, hey, that's a good business. Let me buy it so they can have an exit. Uh, this recession, they will be buying these businesses, but they ain't going to be paying top dollar. No, 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 no. They're going to be paying rock bottom prices because there will not be that many buyers. There will not be that many people with money. And the people with money, they're going to be doing the golden rule. What's the golden rule? Do unto others? No, not that nonsense. The golden rule is he who has the gold makes the rules. That's the golden rule. And you're going to see that in force all over the place. So in parting, I just had to get that off my chest because I'm just sitting here like, what, what is what these people who have not understood how a business should be? Like one of the things, if your Amazon is your only business and all your money comes from Amazon, that's a problem. You should have other sources of income. Because if they just say, hey, we're getting rid of your account, you are broke. You have no source of income. You started nothing else. You're not working on anything else. You, I remember this guy, he was in one of the Facebook groups and they got rid of his account. Uh, I think it was CDs or DVDs. They kept his inventory, they destroyed it and sent him a bill for the amount of money that it, it cost to destroy his inventory. He was out of the game. He just had to become a consultant. Don't let anybody tell you this low margin stuff. Uh, I was brought up by in the car business. It was about margin and the furniture business was about margin. And, you know, I've been saying this for about 10 years and everyone's like, hey, don't worry about the margin. Just build a business, sell it. OK, you do that. And for me to you, I wish you good luck. I hope it works out because statistically it ain't. But hey. Maybe you'll be one of those fortunate ones to escape. Maybe you'll be able to get in and out and not get burned. But if you want to build real businesses that make real money, and this is not going to happen overnight, it's not going to happen in a few months, it's going to take years, years, then go ahead and become a part of investing yourself. The link's below. If you're not ready for that, I have other products. If you're penniless Priscilla, if you broke Dick Danny, go ahead and get the 100 hours of training for 100 bucks. And... Uh, it will give you possibilities, concepts, and ideals and structure on how you can climb out of your hole. Because I'm telling you, and you can check my track record, how many times have I been wrong on anything that I've said? When I said four or five years ago, what was gonna happen to Amazon? People were laughing, people were having hangouts, they were talking stuff about me. They don't talk about me, but they don't even bring it up because I was right. I was right about Bitcoin. I was right about the economy. How many times have I been wrong? And uh, thanks to, I think, I forget the commenter's name, but he said, you're the first one to be honest. So this is going to take two to three years. It ain't going to happen overnight. And this is the reality. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.